Victoria Louise and I'm here to talk about the power of dressing in the feminine way and the femininity that God gave us females. Do you ever get frustrated by how people talk down to you or belittle you? Leave a comment on how you've been affected by this. What if you could change that? I've experienced this firsthand and have implemented a hack for myself that has changed my work life experience by just using, by just changing my outer appearance. I work in an upscale cabinet and door hardware store in Eastern Washington State. So, we sell mostly to contractors, builders, architects, and some designers. So, a lot of blue collar workers. There's nothing wrong with blue collar workers, it's just they're a little more gruff when they talk to me. <laughs> or young people. A year and a half ago, I was promoted in my job from working almost exclusively with customers over the phone to working at the front counter for sales. I didn't think about how I was presenting myself face to face with the customers. All I thought about was that I could do with whatever I could with my hair because I didn't have to wear a stupid headset anymore. <laughs> The girl who I was replacing at the front counter complained a lot about being talked down to by men and how awful it was. When I hear people complain about sexism and misogyny, I typically shrug it off because I feel like it's just complaining or that you're throwing it out of proportion. Um, the Me Too movement is just really lame to me. Um, people seem to make a mountain out of a molehill and it's just... They create all this drama and nothing comes out of it. So I didn't take what she was saying seriously, regardless. We can we can't control how other people are talk how they talk to us, but we can control how we react and how we use our words. When I came up to the front, it was very difficult in a different way than what I was used to. When the customers wanted immediate answers, I couldn't simply put them on hold, like on the phone. <laughs> It was like they could smell my anxiety and hear my pounding heart when I didn't know the answer to things and they would get impatient. They would ask to speak to someone older, more experienced, or, or my personal favorite. You got a guy in the back I could talk to? I was continuously told by my coworkers that the reason was was because they wanted to speak with one of my male coworkers. They just preferred men over women every day, any day, at any moment. I finally saw the harsh reality of sexism. But, more than that, I realized that there was a common theme. I want to talk to somebody older. It was ageism. The theme of the request was, these requests weren't always done only by men. It was also women too. They were just as bad culprit as the men. I complained about my frustrations with my friend, and he would tell me not to worry about it. And if he were to go into a Home Depot, he would seek out the old guy, but then immediately regret it because he didn't know the answer to, where can I find such and such? Uh, I don't know. We'll go look for it together and then spend all this time trying to find something and never get a straight answer. That guy was probably just just got out of being an accountant. He's all retired now and, well, usually would regret asking for help anyways. But I couldn't stop worrying about it because this was my job and I had to deal with it every single day. And I needed a solution or else I was going to lose my mind and quit. So I worked hard at becoming well-versed about the various types of hinges, lighting railings, and poles, just to name a few things that we sell. I tried different ways of acting. I was serious, friendly, tougher, I cared, I could care less, impatient to patient, nothing was working. Next I decided to take the facts about first impressions more seriously. I heard that the average person decides how they view you within the first five seconds of meeting you. So I did an experiment one day, I pulled myself out of bed early, did my makeup with fake eyelashes, curled my hair, and wore a flowy white feminine blouse. The reaction from customers and even coworkers was unexpected. I thought that maybe some people would look right through the facade and make fun of me for being too girly in the kind of environment that I was in. The customers seemed to be friendlier, more patient, kinder, and calmer. I even got compliments on the so silly fake eyelashes. 
this was the dynamic I have been searching for. For the last year, I've been taking what I wear more seriously and dressing with intention in the mornings. So don't dress down just because you think it'll bring you more, re more respect and dress more masculine because it'll unlikely it will. It'll just irritate you even more. If you want more ideas on how to dress, click the link below for a free guide on how to transition from summer style to fall style. I just want to leave you with a Bible verse from Matthew 6.25. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye eat, or what ye shall drink, or yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and body than raiment? Please like and subscribe because I'll be posting more helpful ideas in the future. Leave a comment how style has impacted a part of your life. Just free and fabulous, my friends. Thank you.